give a little rundown here. What's going on? So we've got some romesco sauce, oyster mushrooms sauteed in brown butter. Mm -hmm. We have roasted white yams, sauteed Brussels sprouts, sauteed mushrooms, and a pan roasted Arctic char. Hardy oh, har har. So you know fish, right Jezza? Yeah. You want to explain to Fallon why that's a good one? Well, so... It, it looks right. <laughs> so I am shredding up some Brussels sprouts. It's, it feels plump. It doesn't feel in any way sunken. And oh my goodness, it smells delicious. It smells so lovely. It smells fresh. Shiny, least slimy. Ever so slightly, but not, yeah. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. It's beautiful. Yeah, Absolutely they beautiful. do, they do they a They do a good beautiful job. job of it, yes they do. Super. Mm -hmm. Here, let me give you a bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, we didn't weren't expecting you so soon. Start with a very sharp knife, and with char, you can go in right behind the gills. I usually try and find the vertebra separation. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're awesome. So this is more or less the body of the fish. I'll give you the whole rundown. What was over here? Look at these containers. Wow. Oh, I'm jealous. All of my knives are so I didn't find a post box. So my method here is pretty imprecise, but... Tell us why you're using ground sugar instead of white. Better flavor. Um, it's not actually ending up in the final product. Mm -hmm. It forms a hyper-concentrated or saturated solution of salt and sugar at the surface. And it draws out the liquids mm -hmm. in the fish and mm -hmm. at the same time changes the structure of the proteins. Come back next week. Is it correct to say that the salt hydrolyzes the proteins or is that something only people do? I could consult the Harold McGee. Right, I know. I'm, mine's, at, mine's at home. Right? Mine's on the bookshelf. It is? Where is it? Well, story time with Harold McGee. Mm -hmm. I love that book. Love, love, love. It's it. one of the few cookbooks actually worth owning. Right. I'll revisit this in a day or two and re-up the, uh, the coatings, but that's um, really it. Yeah. I usually do a couple of shakes of pepper. And it, it looks like it's all on the surface now, but once it forms a coating, mm -hmm. you'll end up with a, a nice sort of glaze, mm. and the fish will turn into a glassy, nice consistency. So we just have some roasted garlic there. I like to trim the skin back to the underside. Mm -hmm. Just like that. When you push the fish down, uh, the skin tends to curl up anyway. It doesn't uh, force the belly of the fish to go like that, and then you end up with no crispiness. Take this opportunity to salt the fish. So you salt the fish beforehand? Before cooking? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it helps draw moisture out of the skin. 
Uh, the drier the skin, the crispier the skin. Okay, crispier. So you're gonna do it, a fish the skin side up. Just drying out the moisture, <gasps> skin side up. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, I see. You're gonna let it sit like this for a while. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's almost too thin, but that's totally, totally, yep. Yeah, it's actually got a totally burn. Okay. Oh, of course. Whatever's left of it. I know what you're doing. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and just assume that all the handles are hot because sometimes I put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. It's a raw steel pan. They rust. Um, they rust well, they rust anyway. They rust even if you keep oil on them. Yeah. Uh, that's about two years, I think. I've had them for about two years. I have a bunch of them because mm. they're just so damn useful. You can bake in them, you can make pies. They're unparalleled saute pans. So these are mushrooms. Uh, they are best <laughs> with a little bit of brown butter to get it started. They will absorb readily. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> 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 you weren't expecting that, were you? Okay, so what I'm doing now is called browning butter. Um, this is one of those neat little tricks uh, that adds just, just so much flavor. So what we're doing is we're evaporating all of the water out of the butter. Butter is like between 7 and 15 percent water, right? And some butter is even higher, mm -hmm. depends on the emulsion mm -hmm. and the quality of the butter. Generally speaking, a higher butter fat butter indicates a higher quality butter. And this is Kerrygold, which is wonderful butter. Yeah. Um, when you put the fish in the pan, mm -hmm. gently press the skin. That will sort of adhere the fish to the pan and it will prevent it from curling up. So I usually lay it in in a lightly oiled pan and get some good stick. Then I add my butter. everyone thanks so much for tuning into our new show Mwah! we look forward to bringing you so much uh, variety food and art and culture mm -hmm. Everything. thank you thank you
<laughs> By the way, oh. we we forgot to do the fennel salad. Oh well. Oh well. We'll supply all of you with the uh, ingredients though for the mesco. Mmm, let's do that. Mm -hmm. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thank you.